Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to some more Skinner shenanigans. Here we are once again with our TRX-4 High Trail Edition Cheyenne 10. I'm going to give you a quick little shot of what it's like to drive it in high gear, diffs unlocked, and kind of just show you if we're, if we're fast trailing, kind of what to expect. So that is one of my more favorite things about this rig. If I'm going to a trail spot and I gotta walk a boring trail to get to that trail spot, like I'm doing now, well then I just unlock it, hold that throttle down and start running behind my rig, try to keep up with it. This is full throttle. Hold on here, I'm not a very good driver. That's full throttle. So you definitely would have to run to keep up with it. It's pretty impressive. Bring her back at us. Ooh, don't get ran over. So yeah, it's just nice to have that feature where I can go faster than lot gears and crawl speed and then I want to get really ambitious and stupid and do a fun little hill climb I won't make it very far because you got to be all locked up for it but yeah not gonna make it anyways I can kind of mess around on the side of the trail a little bit with some speed so that's kind of fun not really my cup of tea, but some people like to go fast trailers. But I mean, my typical walking speed is about this. So this is faster than lock gears, trail, you know, low end trail speed with this rig. Kind of show you the difference here. So everyone gets an idea of what I'm talking about. I just locked it, locked my disc. This is crawl speed. That's about as fast as I want to go in crawl speed. I mean, that's pushing that motor pretty hard at this speed. Real crawl speed is about this. If I'm keeping that motor where it needs to be, this is about how fast it is. So this will take me a while to get down the trail. However, unlock my disc, put it in high gear. And we're off again. And I can just kind of block the trail. And then the nice part too is with this rig, so I can now, I just lock, lock some diffs. You can do that on the fly, I just prefer to stop. And then I can still be in high gear and just do a few simple obstacles along the way. So nothing too fancy, but you can be in your high gear with some locked front diff and pull yourself up and over some obstacles. So that's with lock diffs. I'm going to show you right quick unlock diffs. Show you the difference here. I just unlocked it. Can't see much difference here because it's pretty simple it's not very steep or anything but you'll know it when you're locked and not unlocked and actually trailing I'll tell you that much so this is what we refer to around here as the local crawl spot it's a nice spot because there's a lot of shade so even on a hot day you can still go crawling but there's just a lot of a lot of foliage a lot of things growing around this neck of the woods so not many rocks just more going over tree roots and stuff but i mean you can still have quite a bit of fun in here once again i'm all 
still completely unlocked. So if I want to bring her back around, shoot up this hill, I can. Trying to wee bop some trees. Trying to put a tire on a rock, shall we? See, this is a perfect example, okay? So, let me get closer so you guys can see here. So I'm unlocked on my diff right now, okay? And I wanna get that tire on that rock. Which by the way, notice the clearance of the bumper compared to the rock. I can't do it. See how I'm, I'm not getting anywhere. Back tires are spinning and front's not doing anything. So I now lock my front and see how it's pulling my front end over now. So now I should be able to get up on there. Nope, so I'm gonna lock it all the way. Back up, it might just be too loose a soil right here. Yeah, but you can see that rig is really now wanting to pull itself up on there. But I'm still not even gonna get on there with lock gifts. Nope, not happening on that rock. It's kinda sad, but there we go. So that is more or less max articulation here. Let me zoom in a little for you so you can see that a little better. Whoa, boom. So you got about a good X max tires worth of articulation on this high trail edition. Not bad. I mean, that's a pretty good sized rock there. So just enjoy the, enjoy the, coolness factor of this shot for a second shall we all right enough of that back to back to trailing i know i put you guys on wide view because i can't aim a camera and drive at the same time so bear with me uh -huh. all right just unlock my discs We're still in high gear, continuing down the trail. You know, they say it's a mud and truck, so let's go play in some water for a second over here. There's a little bit of water. Let's come see how we do crossing the river. See, here, I'm unlocked, yes, I can't do anything really. I struggled to move at all. I really have to work the rig. Now, I don't know, I'm not a mud and expert, guys. Do you go through mud in four wheel drive or do you go through it in two wheel drive really fast? Because I'm not an expert. So if someone can inform me how to properly mud an RC truck or a real truck, I'd greatly appreciate it. But as you can see here, getting a little muddy for you. Playing a little bit in the water. It's not very muddy right here. Further up trail, it'll get a lot more muddy. But I'm dragging sticks with my bumper. Who wants a stick? I'll bring you a stick. I'm a dog. So yeah. All right, let's keep going. It's not muddy enough there. Because obviously, some people believe this is a mudding truck. And so we have to see if it really is, because there's some nasty, gnarly mud up here. And it is about time to lock this truck in, because the trail is getting too real for it. So the further up here you go, kind of the better it gets. We'll come this way. Going through the trees, up on the rocks. All right, guys, you lock her in. All right, we're now fully, fully locked and engaged and ready to crawl. So let's start the crawl.
and we're in a nasty spot there. I got it, and because I had that high high clearance, I was able to get over that rock without getting too stuck. Little bit of body rub there, unfortunately, but you know, these old square body Chevys, they can take it. Built like a rock. Just working our way up the stream here, folks. Well, folks, I just lost everything. I got nothing. Might have a dead battery, and unfortunately, that's gonna suck for my team. Let me pull this body off. Bear with me. See folks, it's so brand new, I didn't even remove the tag. Let me shut her down and turn her back on. For some reason, I've lost her all. Maybe I killed something, who knows? Nope. I guess I just had to reset my ESC. I'm moving again, that's weird. I haven't had anything happen. So, we're gonna try to put this on one-handed. See if we're skilled enough, I doubt we are. See, the problem is, if I can line this side up, but I can't line this other side up, because Lexan gets under things where it's not supposed to be. Am I in? I don't think I'm in. No, I'm in. That's all locked. All right, we're all locked. Everything's all professional-like. We hope. All right, there we go. All right. Now that we got that hiccup out of the way, let's carry on up the stream creek here. All right. There's a nice little route there. We're just going to trail on over it. Making short work of this stream. I'm actually just gonna pull out right here. We carry on up the up the trail here. The areas like this, I think this rig is perfect for. Cause yeah, we're, we're trailing, but we can also climb some tree stumps and stuff. Have some fun with things like that. Make some, make some tree crushing happen. All right, got another stream here we're gonna cross. Like I said, she's 
getting starting to get muddy up in here so we'll see how good of a mud truck it is stuck obviously it's not going to be an extreme mud truck with king flings on it but Carry on. All right, I'm going to show you guys this. This right here is normally where I can go under. Let's see just how high up on this tree. I gonna make it I'm not gonna make it there boys so I got no clearance I'm a little too tall come on the other side of this branch making it a little difficult because there's new trees in the way to run over you know that's the beauty of having a high lift vehicle you just run them over work it up the muddy stream here. Obviously here, I'm able to come up this because I have such good ground clearance. Another nice part about this is, that I just thought of, my electronics are sitting a little higher so I'm not as panicked about them getting wet as I normally would be. Come up here so you guys can nice video of it climbing up the stream here and zoom it in a little for you There's some of that max articulation right there. Dropping it down. So it seems to be doing just fine in the creek bed thus far. Pretty fun and impressive to be honest with you. Alright, no complaints there. We just gotta continue our way up the trailhead here.
All right, folks, I'm going to go ahead and end this stream because we've been calling for about 20 minutes now. So I'm going to go ahead and shut this one down and start a new video on this. See you in a minute.